Aha, you're here. Nice to meet you. G'day everybody, I'm Faintly Saintly and welcome to Taskmaster VR. In this video, I'll be bringing you a first look and my first thoughts on this exciting addition to the Taskmaster universe, covering gameplay, performance, fan service, and more. So stick around. A quick word of caution, this video contains minor spoilers, which I've limited to the tutorial and the first episode of the game. But if you're interested, I will certainly be returning to play later episodes in more videos to come. So if that's something you'd like to see, here's a task for you. Subscribe. Your time starts now. Full disclosure, I received a free review copy of this game, courtesy of Scalabag Arcade via Keymailer at www.keymailer.co. Now, I'm a huge Taskmaster fan and a relatively new creator on YouTube, so it was a huge surprise and a great honour to be given the opportunity to try this game early by the developers Scallywag Arcade. I had been following the development of Taskmaster VR since it was announced, and the dedication and passion by the team to create an authentic quality Taskmaster experience was clear from the start. When I learned that the great little Alex Horn himself was involved, and that he and Greg Davis, the Taskmaster himself, lending their voices and motion captured likeness to the game, I couldn't be more on board. And finally, the game is here, and I finally got a chance to play it. The fact that this was to be a VR title was an exciting prospect to me, knowing how versatile and powerful VR can be when setting a scene or creating an interactive environment. And a very interactive environment is what we have. From the very first moment you step into the tutorial, you'll be moving around in rooms full of interactive objects and Fantastic callbacks to the show with witty quips from Little Alex Horn to go along with them. Brace! Brace! Early on it was clear I'd have to be delicate with some objects after some minor physics bugs, but these haven't proven to detract from the overall experience so far. You move from the tutorial dressing room and make your way onto the familiar stage with the humorously, exaggeratedly towering Taskmaster and his contrastingly diminutive assistant waiting for you. Accompanied, of course, by the coveted trophy of the Taskmaster's head. Hello, I'm Greg Davis. Welcome to Taskmaster. Greg's familiar voice welcomes you to the show and sets the stage. After some of his iconic cheeky bants... You sure? I've got some quality cheeky bants ready to whip out. Alex introduces the task. The crowd applauds and you are sent into the meticulously remade Taskmaster house. In the first task... Alex greets me in the all-too-familiar Taskmaster kitchen. Immediately, your eyes are drawn to all the details, opening the cupboards and moving things around the bench tops, looking for goodies and spotting some of the cheeky references. Oh, it's an absolute casserole down there. <laughs> Before too long, Alex hurries you along with a reminder of how to start the task. And so it begins. I pick up the task and break the wax seal. I have to make Alex a sandwich of his choosing, using ingredients from around the kitchen, using only two spatulas. Of course, hilarity ensues as you pick up plates and various toppings precariously with the spatulas and carefully move them to Alex's favourite plate. I was concerned about how the previously mentioned physics jank would detract from the task, but it was actually surprisingly a good experience. I made a sandwich to order, cooking some of the meat in a pan on the interactive stovetop along the way, and completed the task. I felt genuinely proud of myself to hear Alex say, Oh, thank you. Mm, it's good. Thank you. Suddenly, we're back in the studio for the all-too-familiar scoring section of the show. The Taskmaster was harsh but fair. The sandwich was spot on, he said. However, my use of an end piece of bread implied I was a likely a psychopath and stood in the way of getting a perfect five for my first ever task. On to the next one. As seamless as a cut on the TV show, I was transported to another original and surprising task taking place in another familiar location, the garage. Rod, what is that? Trapped with nothing but a melon, some scales, and two combination lock safes, my task was to escape to the yard, find the can of dog food, and put the food in the bowl. My time starts now. This task was more of a puzzle just to open the garage door with some clues scattered around the place, which would help later if you pay close enough attention. And after escaping and learning that the dog food was hidden inside a melon, I smashed my way through a bathtub full of innocent watermelons before finding the target melon in a completely different location. Pleasingly, the Taskmaster complimented my strategy, stating that it looked like a very large person exploded by the time I was done, and awarded me full points for my troubles. This level of responsiveness makes everything feel that much more special, so I replayed the level to attempt a different strategy, and to my pleasant surprise, the Taskmaster's commentary changed to reference what I'd done differently. As is tradition in the show, the final task was a stage task, and this one took greater advantage of the freedoms and liberties of playing in a virtual space. 
a large melon fashioned into the head of Greg Davies would spit out 10 melons into a basket, and my task was to land as much melon onto a moving platform as possible without knocking down the skittles surrounding it. With the crew cheering and jeering at me with each throw, I completed the task and returned to my seat with judgement. I got a 4, meaning my first episode total was, as Alex put it, a baker's 13. 13 points. Ending a successful and very enjoyable first foray into this new virtual Taskmaster world. From a technical standpoint, I can only speak for the PC version of the game, but it does run very smoothly. I use my Quest 3 headset and play wirelessly using Virtual Desktop, so I own the game on Steam. The sound design is also excellent, with familiar music from the show intertwined with amusing and on-character dialogue throughout. The controls are very customizable as well, and there are plenty of comfort options for those of you who are yet to earn your VRC legs. I'm well used to VR by now, so I can enjoy freely walking about with smooth turning enabled. However, teleportation movement is an option, as is snap turning, just to name a few. Scallywag Arcade have stated that their goal was to answer the wishes of every Taskmaster fan who wondered what it would be like to take part in the show. And I think they've done everything they could do to achieve that. The immersiveness of virtual reality and the actual inclusion of Alex and Greg, not to mention the incredible attention to detail, including the copious amounts of references and inside jokes for longtime fans to appreciate, all combine into one great, fun, genuine tribute to the fantastic show. And even if you're not already a Taskmaster fan, this effort stands alone as a strong and enjoyable addition to your VR game library. So, do I recommend this game? Yes, and am I rushing to finish this video so I can go play some more? Also yes. I also want to say thank you to Scullywag Arcade for making this incredible tribute to the show, and thank you Lil Alex Horn for making it all possible to begin with. But most of all, I want to thank you for watching. And if you want to support me and see more videos like this, please consider subscribing. I cover VR games, indie games, and yes, I'll be showing off more of Taskmaster VR for those of you who want to see more. So thank you, and I'll see you next time. Now, please. Please.